Here's how to get the answer to the problem of the day. So make sure you're paying attention. Here we go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read for understanding. Janet uses four feet of ribbon to decorate each pillow. The ribbon comes in 225 foot rolls. How many pillows will she be able to decorate with one roll of ribbon? Will there be any ribbon left over? So basically, Janet has one roll of 225 foot ribbon. She wants to decorate as many pillows as she can, each one with four feet. So when that's all said and done, once she figures out that number, will there be any ribbon left over? So that's the main thing. So I'm going to underline my important information now. Four, I'm going to underline four feet of ribbon. That's important because that is going to go with, I'm going to underline each pillow. Because in other words, each pillow is four feet. I'm going to underline 225 foot. Why? Because down here it says that's what one roll is. And that's how much she's using. That's the total amount. Okay. And then will there be any left over? And that's obviously our question of what we're trying to figure out. So using that, I'm going to now fill out my model to help me set up my number sentence. So the first part, the top's always going to be the total amount. In this case, total amount of ribbon, which I know that's one roll and one roll is 225 feet. So I'm going to type in 225 feet. Down below now, I know that's the total. I know each pillow is four feet. So I have one, I divided one section with four feet. And ultimately, when I keep dividing my total into fours, that's going to get me how many pillows I need. And then eventually, that's going to show me do I have any remaining ribbon left over? So that's going to be our operation of division. So my number sentence is going to be 225 divided by 4. All right. So with that, I'm going to work through the problem now. So that's going to be 225 divided by 4. Might have been, that's might have been some time since we've done some long division, remembering our operation procedures of divide, multiply, subtract, bring it down, and then take it on back. Remember, divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and take it on back. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is divide. So we're going to do 2 divided by 4. That's saying, could I place two things evenly into four groups, and that's no. So I'm going to go to the next place value, which is our tens. Now it's 22 divided by 4. Okay. Well, I know I can divide 22 piece into four groups. Now evenly, we'll find out. 4 goes into 22. Well, that's going to be 5 times. Now we're going to multiply. We're going to do 4 times the number I just put up there which is 20, four times five. So I'm gonna put the 20 right here. I'm gonna subtract 22 minus 20. That gets me two. All right, and I have a number to bring down, so I'm gonna bring it down and then take it back to the beginning. Now I'm gonna divide. Now it's gonna be 25 divided by four. Well, I know I can do that because this number is bigger. The dividend's bigger than the divisor. So I know 4 goes into 25. Well, that's going to be 6 times. 4 times 6, the number I just put up there is 24. So I'm going to line that up down here. And I know I'm going to eventually get 1. I have no numbers to bring down, so I am done with the division. I know my quotient is 56. I have a remainder of 1. And that means my quotient is total pillows, okay? And my remainder is one foot of ribbon 
So now I can answer my question of, will there be any ribbon left over? Yeah, one foot of ribbon. So I'm gonna go back now, and I'm gonna type that in to my statement. So my statement is going to be, yes, Janet will have one foot of ribbon left, oops, over. And that is the answer.